it's 2025 and basic edits don't cut it anymore. Happy New Year, by the way. Now it's time to increase your editing skills if you want your content to stand out. We're gonna do that by creating these two awesome social media animations. Oh, and if you're interested, click the link down below to download the project file so that you can follow along step by step. Let's open up Premiere Pro. The first one are these Mr. Beast subtitle animations. You won't believe how much they will help your watch time. So here you can see a piece of video from my other channel. You've spent hours in your bedroom studio, but somehow it feels like you're not moving forward. Okay, head over to the window menu on top and find the text panel. Then once it's open, click the transcribe button. Let Premiere do its thing and boom. Here you can see your transcript. You should double check and adjust it by double clicking it. Next, we're gonna put them into the timeline. To do that, click the create captions button. Then in this window, decrease the length of the character per line. Then decrease the minimum durations. And I also prefer to have a gap in between the captions. Also set it to single line. Then click on create captions. There you go, your lyrics are in the timeline. Lyrics? Anyway, now we're gonna style them. We want them to have the same styling, so we're gonna select all the subtitles and then head over to the properties panel. In here, you can basically style the text exactly the way you want. Now, to make it look like Mr. Beast, find a big font like this one. This one's called Bangers. I found it somewhere online, I'll leave a link down below. Also, scale up your font so it's readable. Then we're gonna scroll down a little and change the color. You can leave it white or change the color to whatever you like. Green, for example. And now it's basically up to you. You. you can add a beautiful stroke, background or a shadow. This looks perfect. All right, so we have the looks, but we don't have the animations. Luckily, those are easy. First, we're gonna turn these caption clips into graphic layers. Again, select them and go to the graphics and title menu. In here, click on upgrade caption to graphic. Now you can apply any effect to your captions, like the transform effect, for example. Just drag it on one of your captions and head over to the effect controls. In here, you can make a scale animation or perhaps a position animation, whatever you prefer. Of course, don't forget to ease your keyframes so the animation is smooth and to enable motion blur. Now, don't just create this animation for every clip separately. That would be stupid. Instead, just select your clip with your animation on and press Ctrl C to copy it. Then select another clip and hit Ctrl Alt plus V. Then this window will pop up and you gotta make sure the transform effect is selected. Then click on OK. You've been grinding, you've spent hours in your bedroom studio, but somehow it feels like you're not moving forward. You're stuck. There you go. This looks awesome. Now, speaking of awesome, if you need some awesome text animations without the struggle of animating everything yourself, you should download Premiere Pro templates from Storyblocks. These are all 2025 ready, and you don't need to leave Premiere. Inside this plugin, you will find thousands of pre-made professional video templates for Premiere Pro, After Effects, Apple Motion and DaVinci Resolve. This plugin is from Storyblocks. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Now, besides templates, you can download unlimited stock assets that will help you tell your story so much better. Storyblocks' curated stock library has everything you need to create high-quality video in one place. With over a million 4K and HD footage, templates, music, sound effects, images and more, you can download unlimited high quality assets for just one predictable subscription cost, monthly or annual. This means you can say goodbye to pay-per-click pricing. Enhance your social media videos by accessing exclusive Storyblocks label music tracks directly in TikTok, Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. Storyblocks will always keep you protected from copyright strikes or anything like that. That way you can focus on what actually matters. And that's creating. To get started with unlimited stock media downloads at one set price, head over to storyblocks.com slash Premiere Basics or just click the link down below. And now let's create this must have TikTok ending animation. You see this a lot at the end of the videos to remind people that they can follow you. It's very simple. First, drag your profile picture into the timeline. Now duplicate the clip because we're gonna use the bottom picture as a background. All you need to do is scale it up. Then head over to the effects library and find the Gaussian blur effect. Then drag it onto the background clip. Now back in the effect controls, increase the blurriness. There we go, that's beautiful. Now that we have our background, we can create 
animate the animation. First, you need your profile picture and the TikTok logo on top of your clip. Make sure they're next to each other. Both of these are included in the project file down below. Now, find the basic 3D effect and drag it on the first and second logo. Select your profile picture and go to the effect controls. Then set a swivel keyframe and move the player to the last frame of the clip. Then set the swivel to 90 degrees. Next, expand the velocity curves and pull the lever of the first keyframe. This will ease the animation out. Now, back in the timeline, select the second clip and go back to the effect controls. Now, move the player to the first frame of the clip and set the swivel to 90 degrees. Then, set a swivel keyframe. Next, move the player further in time and adjust the swivel so the logo is appearing again. Next, expand the velocity curves again and pull the lever of the last keyframe. That way, the animation will ease in. And that looks awesome. But now to finish it off, we're going to create this follow button. I created these myself in Photoshop, but you guys also can download them with the project down below. Oh, and if you decide not to use my project, feel free to download or create your own. So again, make sure your plus logo and your check logo are in the timeline on top of your clip. Next, find the transform effect and drag it on both of your clips. Now select the first one and go to the effect controls. Then in here, move towards the end of the clip. Then set a rotation keyframe. Next, drag the player to the end of the clip and adjust the rotation. Now really important, expand the velocity curves and pull the lever of the first one to ease the animation out. Then of course, don't forget to increase the shutter angle to introduce motion blur. Now back to the timeline, select the second clip this time and go back to the effect controls. Then in here, move the player to the first frame of the clip and set another rotation keyframe. Now move further in time and increase the rotation again. This time in the velocity curves, pull the lever of the last keyframe to ease the animation in. Then increase the shutter angle again and boom, it is that easy. Next, we're gonna create this sick title animation right here in the next lesson in the video on my left. Thank you guys so, so much for watching.